Hey Kickstarter backers, today's update is going to be a demo of the product. Um, so we've got the 4 gigs model and the 2 gigs model here. Um, we'll start off from uh, turning on the product and showing you some apps and softwares that we like. So the 4 gigs model is the Abacus Plus. We have it in clear or transparent with the 4 gigs. This one is currently pre-installed with Windows 10 Pro. but all of them will be pre-installed with Windows 10 Home. Something like that. And that's the two gig model, which is the Abacus Basic. So let's crack on. Let me get started. So I've got the Abacus here. This is my private prototype. So it's got no stickers, no nothing on it. Uh, it's a bit wonky, but for, uh, I've been using it for a while um, because I have everything installed on this version. So I've just got a, a normal Asus screen. It's not a PC or anything. Um, had this for a while as well. It's quite an old one. Uh, it does 1080p. But yeah, so all you need is plug into an HDMI that and USB-C that's powered to, a, to our a charging socket and as you can see it's booting up now I just let it load as you can see it's it's loading now it's getting ready and there you have it a few things on it and um, let me just um, show you a few things that we can run on it besides you know obviously browsing and um, I don't know just google.com I guess uh, the internet's a bit slow in here but this is kind of like a real-time uh, visual of it um, let's try and form And um, yeah, there's our Kickstarter page. So I would say for browsing, um, it's pretty snappy. I wouldn't say it's it's super quick, but it's quick enough that the difference in speed is very negligible. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, cool. So. Look here, um, zoom game. Ooh. Oh dear, the spider's around. But yeah, so this is what you could expect from it. Okay. Not gonna lie, I've never really played Minecraft, but it runs pretty smoothly. There you have it. No, well, good. I don't know. Uh, how do we activate the instruments, Francois? Ooh. We have it, Ableton Live. <laughs> You could also run CAD things. So I've got a file in this USB right here. Um, and just plug it in. And you, there you have it. Um, got a few three files. I don't know if you know the software Rhino, but quite popular around. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. You could select. It's pretty responsive, I would say. Um, it's 
try using a different tool going around it. I wouldn't say the smoothest thing, but it's pretty impressive that this model could run Rhino pretty smoothly. <laughs> Look, that's it. It's pretty mad. So here we have it. You do need an account with it, which I do. I don't know if I'm logged in. Yeah, I'm logged in right there. So let's just, I don't have my controller today, but um, could try it out. Um, one of my favorite games, Forza. Um, yeah, it just says it doesn't have a controller, but let's continue anyways. I know I can't play it, but it's just really showing you. We'll have a full update um, fairly soon. We just have to take our time to prepare everything first. Voila, you've got it there. Obviously, you've got everything else pre-installed, uh, such as offices. Um, and this is the online version, if I'm not wrong. Uh, but it really depends. You could get it from the Microsoft Store. Thank you. Thank you. Online one comes free. I mean, it really depends what you want to do with it. Do you have it? I mean, and you've got plenty of other Microsoft services on it as well. Disney Plus. Uh, Netflix or yeah, I mean we could run all of the softwares could run the majority of things for everyday use all right so I guess that's it guys um, 